statistically, we'll spend more money on medications than anything else in healthcare. And because it's such a huge financial burden, I'm going to show you how your Medicare Supplemental Plan G will actually cover some of the cost of your medications. Now, there's a couple different ways in which our medications are administered, and depending upon how you receive those medications will determine uh, what part of Medicare is going to pay. And so Medicare A and B will actually pay for medications that you have inpatient and outpatient. All right, so they're going to help cover those expenses as well as any kind of medication that is administered with durable medical equipment. For instance, you have a nebulizer. Uh, some of the medication going through the nebulizer could be covered through Medicare A and B. If you're an insulin dependent diabetic and you use an insulin pump, that's durable medical equipment, and therefore the insulin going through that um, uh, pump is also going to be covered through Medicare B. Certainly, meds you take in the hospital or outpatient type of situations are going to be covered by Medicare A and B. So these are professionally administered meds and durable medical equipment. And so when someone adds a supplemental plan G, uh, Medicare A and B pays first, but again, you're going to have some uh, liability. And so the liability of those medications that Medicare did not cover will be then transferred over to your plan G, and they're going to cover uh, the expenses of that other than your small B deductible. All right, so uh, your G plan is going to pay for those. Now, the second way in which we have medications, and these are the ones that we personally administer. Minister. This is going to be your high blood pressure, your cholesterol medication, your um, uh, heart medications, those kind of things that you're taking. These are personally administered. They will not be covered by your plan G or Medicare A and B. They'll be covered by your drug plan. And that's why it's very important to make sure you get the right prescription drug plan based upon the medications that you're going to take. So that plan G, other than that small B deductible once a year, this year it's $233. It's going to cover the gap. So Medicare pays first, but the G plan is going to pick up the remaining expenses other than the B deductible.